Well, okay, guys, what we're going to do here is we're going to make, we're going to start off by making some clay. Right? We're not really making the clay, we're just separating it from the dirt. Um, not a hard process. We're not going to do all the extra steps that you should do if you're going to make modeling clay or a clay to make pottery with because uh, we don't need it to be super flexible and um, we don't need it to be high quality clay. We just need mud. And we could do it with just mud, but it wouldn't hold as well. So we're going to make some generic, cheap, unprocessed, unrefined clay. Uh, we're just going to do like one pass just to get as much of the clay out as we can. We're going to weigh all the rest of the dirt over into the dirt pile, the discard pile, and then we're going to use the clay to kind of encase our uh, fire pit a little bit. Uh, I did watch a lot of videos and um, none of them quite went to this extent with this. I mean, a lot of them were just making mud and making a fire pit out of mud. Uh, it wasn't very pretty, it wasn't very pristine, and I really didn't agree with how they were doing it for the most part. So what we're gonna do, real simple and easy, they were on the right track and they just missed. Uh, maybe for them it worked just fine. But for me, I want it to be pretty. I don't want it to be a, a mud brown brick. I want it to be pretty. So we'll get started filling these buckets with the dirt. Okay guys, and I just wanted to show you here the uh, pile of clay we've gotten so far. Uh, it did freeze overnight, so <clears throat> it is a little bit frozen, but we've been letting it sit out to dry a little bit. So that's our clump of clay so far. Um, that's like one bucket, one bucket. So we'll, we'll show you the process here of getting that clay <clears throat> Okay, so what we got here is we got a couple of buckets. Uh, the blue one, the big one has our dirt in it, which is, you know, what, our, what we're using to mix it up with. Uh, and the big blue one, not the small blue one. Like I said earlier, though, this froze overnight. So, and of course, th this frozen bit, we're gonna toss it. It doesn't have much in it. At least not enough to worry about. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> so this has been sitting for about 12 hours, so most of, most of the good stuff settled down. And uh, we're just going to take it and dump it back off into our big bucket here, and then it'll get most of the trash. Uh, pulled back into the the main bucket, and we're gonna we're gonna pour until it gets thick and cloudy. <clears throat> That's probably as thick. Well, no. There's thick and cloudy. Okay. So now it's what's left is basically well, very watery clay. We're just gonna dump that. Into our can or a box here, <coughs> and we've been using this box for a couple days, so it's. I'm actually really surprised at how well it's holding up. But we're gonna scrape her, scrape her out here, just to get as much of that clay out as we can. <coughs> And we didn't get much clay in this one. But we just filled this bucket back up yesterday, so not a big shock that we didn't get much. So we're gonna take our little kid's toy. We're gonna set it on this bucket. 
to kind of filter out the junk. Oh, we should stir that first. No, yeah. <clears throat> if we can. I don't know that we can. Yep, we can. Alright. So we're just gonna stir the dirt that was already in there. <clears throat> just to release a little bit more. Now it's been let me just get more soaked up into the water. And this bucket's half full with dirt, so surprisingly really easy to stir. <coughs> now that we gotta stir it a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick her up and pour. into there. Uh, anything that this collects is dirt and trash, uh, vegetable matter, uh, roots, some of that ice, uh, peach pits, rocks. I'm gonna dump that off to the side. I'm just gonna set this bucket off to the side here to uh, Settle. I'll let it settle. We'll get our clay. <clears throat> Since we're trying to get as much as we can, I know we should have got more buckets, but we've almost got enough to do a layer or two of brick for the. Uh, for the fire pit that we're wanting to do. And <clears throat> all right, we got that broken up. So we can pour this back off into here. Until she's nice and cloudy. She's nice and cloudy. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but we got a lot of stuff left. Just gonna pour her in here. Scrape her out. As, not, not as best as we can. But we're gonna scrape her out decently. We got actually a lot more out of this one. Usually we get more out of the blue one than we do the red one. There we go. Now we can get, we can get down in here and scrape this up a little bit. Uh, <coughs> Big chunk of clay. Big chunk. I mean, part of it appears even dry, or somewhat dry. <clears throat> so we can just slap her over there so she can continue to dry. And of course, we got some ice in there too because it froze as well. pulling it out for now. She's got to dry up quite a bit. We should have done that before we added this water to it. <clears throat> and we're just going to take our thing again. Uh, sometimes she doesn't want to sit quite right. So we just play with her until she does. Or until she sits good enough. There we go, that's a little better. We're gonna dump her back off here. And we 
don't want to dump our dirt. Get a bunch of crap, toss it off to the side, and let that sit for a while. Uh, you can see there's some floaties in there. We're not overly worried about that because you know people add sand and everything else to their clay for modeling clay to make it uh, more elastic. Uh, we're not needing elastic clay. We're just needing clay to it's gonna mud and then brick over once you know we get a fire going. <clears throat> so that little bit of stuff there, that's just gonna add the texture to it to make it a little more elastic. Something we don't need, but uh, we'll do it anyway. I mean, I could get a, a better strainer and strain it better, but what's the point? It's good enough. And most of this goes right back in the bucket anyway, and then gets dumped. Now this bucket was half full <coughs> of dirt, and this is the second set we've done here. And uh, the bucket's maybe, maybe a quarter of the way full now. <coughs> So we might get one more run out of this bucket. Uh, we'll have to add water to it at some point, just because what we lose, it's gonna be actually quite a bit of water that we lose. So we'll probably have to add more water to it on the next round, just to beef it back up to absorb more of that clay. Because um, a lot of that water's in that clay, so, and then we're drying it out, so. Uh, we'll get that done. Maybe we'll get some clay here. And we were trying a couple other methods to uh, pull out some clay, and they just didn't seem to work as well. <coughs> this is the one that worked best for me. Uh, you might have different, you know, you might have different luck with yours, but this is what's worked best for me. So we'll catch back up with you guys here in a little bit when, whenever we get enough mud or uh, clay to maybe start uh, bricking our. Uh, fire pit up. Okay guys, and this is about Bye. three of those buckets worth of clay that we've harvested. Um, I've been a little lazy. I've taken my time doing it. And I've only gone through about half the wheelbarrow. But I did start another bucket. And I've been doing the bucket, washing the bucket about three times. Or, yeah, about three times per, uh, per bucket. That way, I can get as much of this out as I can. And of course, usually the last time I do it, there's like not much there, so. Uh, I mean, I could probably do it more just to get a little bit more, but really don't feel that I have to. But you can see that's a nice big clump. And there is some wet in there. It's probably at least 15, 20 pounds. But we're gonna go ahead and kind of mush it around a little bit just because. There is some wet, and we want to mix it in a little bit. And we're just using the shirt because I just don't want all the wetness on me. And some wetness I'm okay with, but a whole bunch I don't really want. We'll mix it around a little bit here. And like I said, this isn't going to be modeling clay, so this doesn't have to be perfect. This is just for uh, putting our bricks together for a fire pit. So, and yes, I'm using an old discarded shirt. I don't know if I told you guys that or not, but just an old shirt that had a stain on it, so. Okay, so we got a nice big old clump here, and it's a little, it's a little wet still, and I need to work it a little bit more because the inside is a quite a bit dry. But if we wanted to fire a clay pot out of this, we probably could. It just wouldn't be a very high quality clay pot. Uh, but we do want this a little wet on a wet end for our intents with it. Um, the elasticity of it isn't really there because it needs to dry out more. But if it dries out more, I'm not going to be able to uh, work it very well. The 
bricks. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. Putting our fire pit in. Uh, sadly, the wheelbarrow is still full, or half full of dirt. So we're not gonna be able to use the wheelbarrow to pull these bricks over. And just using another old shirt here just, just to get some of this clay off my hands because it is quite a bit sticky. And we can improve the quality of it by drying it up and then crushing it out and maybe doing the whole process again just to remove a little more from it. But for our purposes, doing a fire pit, this will be more than fine. And this should be enough to get a row or two going, so we'll go ahead and start on that while this uh, okay, next guys, batch starts working. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, I did go ahead and put a ring of dirt around the inside of it just to help give these bricks, bottom bricks, a little bit of a, a little bit of support. I did level at the ground for the most part. Uh, got it pretty close to level based on the bricks. So the top of the brick would be more level. But uh, I didn't do a perfect job. But like I always say, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I got a little bit, little bit of wood in here for my, for my fire. Not having a fire yet. But I did build a little bit like a kiln to where has a little gap here to pull in some air just to uh, just to help a little bit with uh, getting air to the fire because you're going to be using the clay to uh, kind of fill in most of these there are a lot of these gaps so we don't want to choke the fire out completely we do want it to get some air in here and it's far enough to where I can kind of poke down in there and with my uh, spade not not with a trowel but with a spade and get a little bit of dirt out clean it out if need be uh, of course once the once the bricks are laid here it'll be a lot easier to not damage that so the first one we're gonna do we're gonna do our front one and I don't know how much of this I don't know how far this clay is gonna get me uh, I'd probably be better to use my hand than I am to use this stupid trowel because this this clay is pretty thick which I don't care I don't I don't mind it being thick I really don't so we're gonna take our first clump here and we just you know we could roll it out into a nice bead here just to kind of stretch it a little bit more and uh, kind of set that down there and grab our next clump here and kind of do the same thing for the other side now you're gonna get messy doing this uh, some of this is still quite a bit wet some of it's a little drier a little more dry uh, it's okay though it'll be fine uh, it's supposed to be pretty warm today and might rain a little bit but this brick covering over top of these should allow it to stay mostly dry uh, and then now that we got that one down there we're just gonna kind of work our way on around
you got your uh, fire pit done, uh, of course you got to leave that dry for a little bit because you want it to dry somewhat evenly so it doesn't crack a whole lot. It's going to crack, but you know, you don't want it to crack a whole lot. You want it to actually hold the bricks in place and try to pull up a little, a little loosely on here. It doesn't really want to move. Um, so the next step would be to uh, go ahead and light a fire in there and let it bake. But we need it to dry a little bit first. So while we're waiting, you may be asking yourself, what do you do with that extra mud or clay? Well, I'm going to show you. Don't that look a lot better? Man, I look at least 10 years younger. Yeah, well, thanks for tuning in and watching. <laughs> if you like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.